Good afternoon from a beautiful, look at that sky, Decatur, Alabama. I'm going to talk to you about a couple of things Oakley today. While I'm waiting, I'm next in line to get a washout. I need a full conversion on this. And then I'm getting my truck washed. Uh, they're a little bit cheaper than Blue Beacon here, so I'm at least going to get the tractor done. I'm not getting the trailer done. But uh, on, a, on a full conversion... They're cleaning both load tubes, obviously the bottom line. Clean whatever lines I need done. So they'll be getting my flex lines in here and cleaning those for me. Um, I'm gonna have them do the vac canister because we're paying for it. It's clean, but I'm gonna get them to do it again because we're paying for it. And then I think I've mentioned this to you guys before but all these clamps come off and all these bottom lines come out and we flip this valve right here and that whole T swings down and this whole valve assembly comes out to allow them to wash it and they'll do that all the way up to the front and get that so we're gonna have them knock all that out uh, had a load of sand on which I'm gonna try to get a long video out over the weekend I have some footage that I want to try to put together and get a, a longer video out to you guys but something i want to mention briefly today okay for oakley they didn't ask me to do this and just for the record oakley has never told me what to say or what not to say in a video the only thing that i ever was mentioned about is being descriptive about the customers and where we're at and that makes sense and i felt like an idiot when it was said to me because I used to give customer names and everything, where I was at, where I was going, what I was loading, and I like a dork, it's not real smart because it, you know, it can give away trade secrets and it certainly wasn't intentional, but that's the only thing that Oakley has ever said to me was just to be careful with giving, you know, too much customer information up. So you'll notice a lot of times, I'll just tell you what city I'm loading in and what city I'm going to and maybe the product, but I don't give much in the way of customer names anymore. There's the reason for that. But what I wanna to talk to you guys briefly about today isn't an Oakley thing. It's kind of like a uh, community thing. And primarily it's the community Facebook page for Oakley. And this is for you prospective candidates or applicants that are considering becoming an owner operator here at Oakley. Like me, I did a couple of times and like many of you, you'll ask questions on that Facebook page in an attempt to get some information to help you out. Make complete sense to me. That's what the page is there for. Here's the problem. There are some current Oakley owner operators that are just negative Nancy's. Now, I'm not saying that what is said on there by everybody is completely false. But remember, there are some people that you could hand them a $100 bill and they would complain if it was an older $100 bill and not a brand new crisp one. Like, you gave me an old $100 bill. I gave you 100 bucks, man. Shut up. No matter what Oakley does for them, it's not going to be enough. And they will convey that on the Facebook page. Now, my disclaimer... Things at Oakley have slowed down. It's an election year. It has dropped off some folks, but we're still busier than many other companies out there. A lot of companies are just hemorrhaging. We're not hemorrhaging here, but it has slowed. Just letting you know that. So there is some legitimacy to some statements about things dropping a little bit. But remember, you have to kind of be able to discern what you're reading, all right? Look at the forest through the trees and make an interpretation. The other thing I want to talk about with this is when you ask a question, unfortunately, there are a lot of people that are part of that community page that don't work for Oakley. And these people, whenever an Oakley question is asked, always feel like they have to chime in. When they don't even have the validity or the authority in any way, shape, or form to speak for Oakley. 
They don't lease on with Oakley. They've never worked for Oakley. They don't know a daggone thing about Oakley, but you'll ask a question on that Facebook page and you'll get 10 people, duck, 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 duck. oh, you gotta manage your business. Oh, you gotta save your money. Well, no kidding, duh. I mean, that's a pretty simple principle, guys. But for you guys that are asking questions specific to Oakley, I would tell you to phrase your question this way. This question is for current Oakley owner operators only. And then ask your question. I'll give you an example. This is about a month ago, and it's one of the few times that I've really responded to a comment on that Facebook page because it just kind of frosted me a little bit. This individual looking to come to Oakley and go to the Hopper division asked a question, and the question basically read, can someone at Oakley in the Hopper division or can a few of you at Oakley in the Hopper division please provide me with your average gross pay? That's a pretty direct question. That's a pretty specific question. That question would apply not even to me. I'm in pneumatics. It wouldn't apply to an end dump guy. It applies to current Oakley owner operators working here now that are in the hopper division and maybe a few of them would chime in and say, hey, I'm, you know, I'm grossing, I don't know, 18,000 a month or I'm grossing, you know, 13,000 a month. And if maybe three or four guys answered this dude, then he could put them together and come up with an average of say, I don't know, 15, 16,000 a month gross. I don't know, I'm just throwing that out, 25,000 a month. I'm just making up numbers, guys. So the issue that I had with this there were more than a few men responded on there. Oh, you got to save all your money. Got to be a good businessman. And if you don't do that, you won't be successful. You got to save your money. Well, that's great that you said that, that you gave us the basics of trucking 101. But you didn't answer the question. The man asked for Oakley owner operators in the hopper division if they could provide some gross wages. Here come to find out one of these guys pulled a car carrier in Michigan and he's giving us the 101 of trucking. Dude, you don't even work at Oakley. Why are you even responding to this man's question? I'm not saying that what you're saying isn't true, but you're responding to a specific question with nothing but superfluous stuff. All you're doing is muddying the waters and filling up the comment box. And for what? I mean, trying to wow people with your business knowledge? I, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm thankful that you're trying to help, but you're not doing anybody any favors because now you're not even working here. You're answering the man's question. You're not even qualified to answer the man's question. And you're filling space. You know, so why do I bring that up? You folks that are interested in Oakley and you're looking to come here, be very specific about your question. And if somebody's responding to you and you're going to reply, because I know a lot of you guys, just like me, somebody will respond and you're assuming that's an Oakley owner operator. Well, you can't assume that. Ask the question, reply to that person and say, are you leased on with Oakley? And if they say, oh, no, I'm not, then move right on. Don't even respond to them because they're not qualified to answer any questions for Oakley. The other part of this, that individual asked for gross wages for the hopper division. There were like five guys in the end up division chiming in with what they grossed. You're not in the hopper division. You're in the end up division. He didn't ask what the end up division was making. He asked what the hopper division was making. To be like me, I'm not gonna chime in. Oh, in pneumatics, I've made $172,000 this year. Why would I do that? It doesn't apply. I'm not in the hopper division. So this, I guess, is a public service announcement for you men and women that are interested in Oakley, that are thinking about coming to Oakley. You're on the community page, which could be a very good source of information, but I will tell you, it's not what it used to be. There's a lot of fluff on there anymore. And there's a lot of people on there that don't even work here. So be careful about the information that you obtain on that page and that you take to heart or that you take as gospel per se, because it's not all completely accurate. What I would recommend you do, I mean, obviously you can reach out to me, 
Jimmy's Road Life, I'll be happy to answer your questions. I would encourage you, if you can, to get some phone numbers of some owner operators that are here, if you see them out on the road, and talk to them directly. That's what I would tell you to do. Stay in touch with recruiting. You know the recruiters here don't lie. They're pretty straightforward guys. Kent, Harrison, Corey, Kent, Jeremy. They shoot straight. They're not blowing smoke up anybody's butt. So get some phone numbers and reach out to people directly. You got Paperboy here on YouTube. You got Tanner Sides. You got Rob Holly. You've got Cruz. You've got myself, Jimmy's Road Life, L-Y-F-E at gmail.com. Don't be afraid to hit one of us up and ask a question. We're not going to lie to you. We're going to shoot straight pool. And be careful with the information that you take from that social media page. It's not all accurate. It's trying to help you guys out. Hope you're having the best day of your life. We're next after this guy. We're going to get it done. We'll catch you guys later on. Peace out.